Well, good morning. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well this week. You know, this week I'm sharing Bible passages that have meant a lot to me over the years, passages that God has used to help me grow in my walk with Him and, in, and as a pastor. Yesterday we looked at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. This morning we're going to look at 1 Corinthians, and we're going to look at a passage that has been misused a lot. You've probably heard it said, well, God will never give you more than you can bear. Well, let me tell you something. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. But I want to read you the passage where I think that's coming from. Looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will provide you a way of, of escape also, that you may be able to endure it. You know, it's not that we, you know, are never given more than we can bear. We're given more than we can bear all the time. Some sicknesses are more than we can bear. Some, some pressures of, of, you know, finances and family, these are things that we, can, that we cannot bear by ourselves. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad that God has given us the Holy Spirit, because a Holy Spirit can help us endure all of those things, but we can't do it by ourselves. What the Bible does say is that God will never allow you to bear more temptation than what you can handle. He'll always provide a way out. You see, every time we sin, and we all sin, we are making a choice. We choose what to do. We choose what to say. We choose where to go. We choose who to be with. We always make choices when we choose to sin. Now, I've heard someone say, well, I got there and I didn't have any choice. Well, a lot of times we say that to comfort ourselves for the choices we made that led us to being in that position. Sin is always a choice. But the good news is God will always provide a way out if we are willing to take it. The other good news is that even when we choose not to take it, God is going to love us anyway. Let's keep that in mind. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your guidance, for your protection, Father. Lord, help us to choose day in and day out not to sin, Father. Lord, help us to bring honor and glory to you by the way we live. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. And by the way, feel free to share any passages that have meant a lot to you. I'd love to see them. All right, you have a good day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the devotional this morning. If you think somebody else might get a blessing out of it, feel free to share. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. But at any rate, I hope you have a good day.